E3 is just around the corner, and for those of you who don't know what E3 is, well, let's just face it, if you didn't know what E3 was, you wouldn't have clicked on this video. E3 is an expo dedicated to entertainment and development of new technology and video games in the upcoming year. So today we're giving you the top 5 PS4 games for the upcoming E3 of 2018. And starting off with number 5, Dreams. Dreams is one of the most exciting upcoming releases for the PlayStation 4 next year. It's also very difficult to explain what it is, but Dreams is like Little Big Planet reimagined through, well, Dreams. The devs over at Media Molecule decided to use the create, play, and share function to their game to open the imaginal minds of gamers. Using the theme of Big Head Little Body comic book style of graphics, Dreams looks very unique in its own way. The game will have a hard to understand feeling unless you play it to understand it. It will also have a feature to the ability to create worlds and levels to share across the platform. We here at GameField are especially excited for this one, simply because of the nostalgia feeling it will bring being from the creators of Little Big Planet. For the number two spot and from the creators of Dark Souls and Bloodborne, we have here Shadows Die Twice, the incredibly brutal but yet rewarding gameplay from software. Very little is known, but from the trailer it looks to be leaning towards their Dark Souls aspect, very deep with a great story behind it. From Software has teased that it will find out more about the game within the next 12 months, so you just have to sit tight and wait a little longer. A link in the description will be provided below if you want to check it out. Days Gone was a definitely good choice for number 3 spot. We thought it would definitely be in our top choices. This game screens The Last of Us, GTA The Last and Damned, and a bit of Tomb Raider all mixed into one. Days Gone is an open world action survivor horror. You play as a rebellious Becker trying to find his way into a post-apocalyptic world decimated by a global pandemic. Sony Ben has released two new trailers of the same section of the game recently, showing how the events may turn out differently depending on how the player wishes on how to play. Days Gone will also feature customizable vehicles and weapons, also skills and perks will be added as well to have Deacon decked out for the liking. The environment surrounding this biker is immersive, full of life and looks great to explore. I'd recommend checking out some gameplay and there will be a link in the description for you guys to check out for yourselves. And number 2 is the new Spider-Man game being developed by Insomniac Games. We've seen the trailer reveal for the new installment and I got a taste of the gameplay already. The game is completely standalone, which means it has no initiation with a movie title, which is great because the last few installments for Spider-Man games weren't entirely what we expected as a whole. The Amazing Spider-Man 2, for example, felt lazy and clunky and just plain out of place, and for that reason alone is enough for developers to stay away from creating a game for the movie's standards. Spider-Man PS4 gameplay looks fresh and sharp. The world looks full of life with choice-based cinematics. Action-packed gameplay that brings a new punch to the high-flying, web-slinging fun. The combat varies with the environment around you, making the mind work to come up with ways to defeat your enemies. We see a lot in the gameplay trailer, from the bosses to the characters like Miles Morales and much more. Spider-Man for the PS4 is expected to come out later this year. And number one, we have The Last of Us Part 2, the latest installment to 2013's Last of Us. Last of Us Part 1 left us wanting more behind the story of Joel and Ellie as you adventure through post-apocalyptic America. Last of Us Part 2 shows us five years after the first game as you play as Ellie in a dark and grimy version of what seems like the Resident Evil from the trailer reveal. In the reveal trailer, she is seen playing a guitar, slathered in blood amongst a pile of corpse. After finishing her song, she says to Joel, I'm going to kill every single last of them. We have no idea who Ellie is so mad about, but it's clear anger will act as a core theme in The Last of Us Part 2. Naughty Dog has kept us in high anticipation for the sequel to finish off the series as a whole. Then we'll finally figure out the full story and when it comes to conclude at the end of The Last of Us Part 2. Naughty Dog hasn't released any more information about The Last of Us Part 2, but we here at GameField are super excited for this one to come out. That's the top 5 PS4 release to showcase at E3 2018. 
Stay tuned for the Xbox and PC edition. Thanks for watching. I'm Dragon, and we'll catch you right here next time on Game Fuel.